guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Monkey, and it is designed by the creators of Gyrating Hamsters. Monkey is a one to five player treetop climbing game in which you're gonna take on the personification of a warrior monkey adept at climbing trees. You'll be trying to climb this tree and achieving the treetop challenge. And if you can do that before anybody else, you'll win. However, there's going to be certain actions that take place and other monkeys trying to stop you from climbing that tree. There's a single player mode and a couple other variants as well. In the game Monkey, let's go ahead and take a look at everything you get in the game and then how to play. Then after that, I'll show you my review. So here we have the game Monkey and it's all set up for as many players as you want, really. And here's what you're gonna get. Of course, the box over here. You're gonna get the player aid cards. There's five of them, one for each player. There's these solo player cards, which are these parrots here and this wonderful little uh, m magical monkey. But of course, you can add certain cards to the game from different variants and work it out how you want. Uh, these are the different five monkeys in the game that you'll go ahead and choose from to play. They all play the same, but they're all different in artwork, which is nice. Uh, these over here are the forest cards. You're going to be making a tree of four cards and then three representing the main bushel of the top of the tree. This is the treetop challenge and of course this is the climbing ranks. All of the monkeys are going to start down below here on the first tree area. This is the tree deck which is going to have number cards ranging from 1 all the way to 20 with wilds as well as black cards that can only be accomplished by defeating them with other black cards and wilds. And then you're going to get this magical monkey deck here which is going to be actions that take place on your turn whether you like them or not some are positive some of them are negative just depends on your turn you're simply going to be getting a hand of three cards you'll be drawing a card from the deck you'll be flipping over a monkey card and you're going to see what happens after that you're going to get two actions and you're going to take part in doing any of the things listed on this card for one ap you can draw a tree card from the tree deck or you can attempt to climb the tree trunk as well as for one you can set monkey traps which i'll explain and the final is you can spend two action points to try and accomplish the tree trunk challenge if you can accomplish that challenge you will win the game sounds easy enough but with a steady amount of competition can come with a lot of duress and uh, difficulty on this climb okay so let's go ahead and go down below I'll show you a couple turns of the game and how it functions and then I'll tell you what I think about it so here is monkey in all its glory and I went ahead and set it up for two players just to show you how the game works you're gonna start with your monkey at the very bottom of the tree and each of these little rungs is where you're going to need to go in order to climb up to the tree to get to the treetop challenge and if you can go ahead and get up here you'll be able to attempt to climb this treetop and if you can do that you win everybody's going to start with three cards so each monkey has three in addition to one of these player reference cards here it has a front and the back that will indicate basically what all the action cards do on the turn in which you flip them over you can go ahead and look at this card here and it tells you how they function additionally it tells you how much ap you start with which is two and what you can do on your turn you can select any of these in any order provided you have the ap to spend the rest of the monkeys and the solo player options and whatnot I've set aside for this specific game just to give you an idea of how it plays. We'll go ahead and start with this wonderful Artress monkey and we're going to go ahead and reveal her cards just so you get an idea of what they look like. In general, the cards in the tree deck are going to be from 1 to 20. Black cards are special in which only black other black cards can beat them and or wilds and the rest of them are just numbered with different colors. So when you start the game, you're going to draw one card from the tree deck and add it to your hand. I don't think there's a hand limit per say for this game so you can go ahead and basically have as many cards as you want in your hand but after you draw your card you're going to simply flip over one of these monkey cards here and then it's going to be a specific symbol and you're going to look on the card here and see what it does so for instance that axe there says that you need to an anvil falls oh no sorry <laughs> chop chop you may discard any trunk or treetop card and replace it with a new one from the top of the tree deck no peeking or you can discard any one monkey trap card in play so for instance if you knew what this was or any of these were you might want to go ahead and discard one of these guys here putting it to the discard pile and selecting a new one that may help you or hinder you depending on how well you know the information in the game after that now you have the opportunity to spend two actions and like i said previously you can go ahead and attempt to climb the tree do the treetop challenge you can draw a card or you can place traps on your opponent let's go ahead and show you the first action which is climbing the tree the first thing you do is let's say i'm going to climb the tree for an action you flip this thing over and then you need to spend in order to climb luckily you have a black card that's higher than the sum of seven you could put additional cards together but remember as a black card you have to select black and or wild cards to do it so a five black wouldn't do it because it's not high enough 
but a 15 will. So we can go ahead and discard that 15. 15 is higher than seven. Thusly, this card will get flipped over and your monkey will climb the tree one rung. That's very useful. That's what you want to do. Uh, then you can go ahead and uh, choose your next action. Let's talk about another action. How about trapping a monkey? Basically, when you trap a monkey, you're going to take two cards from the top of the tree deck and place it on that monkey. Thusly, whenever they attempt to climb or whatnot, if they play a number that is equal to the numbers that get flipped over from the top of the cards in the trap st stack that they have, so for instance, if they played a 20 when flipping over this little seven here, then that card would get discarded along with this one and they would not be able to climb. It basically traps the monkey from being able to climb up the rung on the tree. Uh, the next thing you could choose to do is simply draw a card from the tree deck, which is what he's going to do. He wants to have a nice ample sum of cards in his hand or her hand in order to make sure that they have enough to accomplish this tree top challenge at the end of the game. After that, the next player will get a chance to go, simply drawing a card from the deck, adding it to their hand, and flipping over one of these action cards. Uh-oh, we've come across a banana. Let's look at our player reference card, and it says that you draw another card from the tree deck. That's actually good. You're not slipping, you're eating bananas. So let's go ahead and get another card here for her, or him. Now let's go ahead and choose our two actions. So let's go ahead and simply flip over this card here and attempt to climb, and we'll look at what we have in our hand. None of these here are the black cards and or wilds, and so because of that, he would not be able to successfully climb that would waste an action. Now luckily he would not choose to do that action because he knows he doesn't have the card needed to climb so instead maybe he'll go ahead and choose to draw a card from the deck and choose to trap their his or her opponent. That would end his turn and let's go ahead and do one more turn here before we go up to here and I explain how these work. He, this person is going to go ahead and draw a card to their hand and flip over one of these cards. That is a barrel. Let's look and see what the barrel does. Barrel says your monkey falls down one position but you still get to keep to play the rest of your turn. So the barrel pushes you down and now you can go ahead and attempt to accomplish the rest of your turn. Now we know that's a black seven and he does not have the color required for the specific black card. So he's going to go ahead and draw a card for his action. That's still not enough. And then draw again. Now these are not going to do it for him as well. So maybe hopefully you'll be able to chop that away or somebody will get lucky and get the cards required. So let's go ahead and say that they did climb all the way up. So in this case, maybe they played a black eight, which would be what they needed for that. And then this one here, they climbed. This is a yellow two. Any color is fine on yellows as long as it's not that specific color. So you can go ahead and climb as long as you played a three or a four that was blue or red or green. But if it, you just can't play the yellow cards, right? The difference is up here, when you get up to this treetop challenge, you'll need to spend two actions to climb it. And let's say we have these cards to utilize. You'll then select any of these cards here. We'll start with this one here. That is a black one. Uh-oh, no black one. So <laughs> that means he's actually going to not be able to climb that tree. Let's go ahead and say it was something else. Though. Let's say it was a yellow eight, in which case you can go ahead and play a red eight and a green three. That is eight, nine, 10, 11, which is more than eight. And that accomplishes that goal. He would move on to the next one here. That is a 20. Ooh, oh no, that's only 16, 17. That still wouldn't be enough. So he would actually not accomplish that. He'd also flip these down any cards he used to to discard during this treetop climb would end uh, and they would be in the discard pile. The only way he's going to accomplish this game is if he's able to beat this one, this one, and then this one. If not, these cards are going to go down and it's very likely that he's going to fall down the tree because he did not meet the challenge requirements. And that's pretty much the idea of the game. The last thing I meant to talk about was, let's say he wanted to climb this one here. That's a two. So he played a... Let's go ahead and say he played a 10, which is higher than two and not yellow. Then you're gonna flip over this, that's a 20, so that's not a 10, which is good. And that's a 15, that's not a 10, which is good as well. These traps will get discarded and he will be able to climb the tree. If for instance though, uh, one of his traps was a 10, let's go ahead and see if I can find one really quick here. Uh, and he did flip it over and it did match the card he played, that would indicate a failure on his part and he would not get to climb the tree. And that's how traps work. There's additionally a bunch of other different action cards that do a bunch of different things. You got fairies and the axes, which I showed you before, the anvils making you lose a turn, and the dreaded spider. The spider in here is actually something that would not only make you lose a turn, but additionally trap you and very, very dangerous. Nevertheless, that's the basic idea to play the game, climbing this treetop, trapping your opponents, avoiding the bad 
bad hazards in the game and uh, getting the good ones. If you can beat this little cheat top challenge, you win. There's a solo mode, like I said, and some variants, but for the most part, that's how you play Monkey. Okay, let's come up and talk about it. Okay, so a couple caveats before we get into my review. And the first one is you can only have four traps on your Monkey. The one change to that is if you draw the spider card, that can add more, but in general, you get four cards. Also, traps are gonna activate one at a time, face down from top to bottom, and they're going to reflect on the card or cards that you've played. If you played a 10 or a two and a trap gets revealed that is a 10 or a two, in that instance, you would then fail climbing the tree. Additionally, the current Monkey King is going to try and stop you from usurping him. And that is by after the treetop challenge has been completed, the last Monkey King is going to still attempt to stop you by flipping over two cards from the top of the deck. They act as trap cards. If any of the cards you played were one of those two trap cards, you're going to simply discard all the cards you played and stay there. In any other case, you're gonna go ahead and fall down the tree. But that trap does happen and it can stump you on the occasion. Another thing to note too is there's quite a few different action cards and I'll go ahead and talk about a few of them as well that I did not mention, such as there's the bird one, which when the swing pops up, you'll draw a card from the tree deck and add it to that. And that basically means that that number can't be played during the game anymore. You've got things like a skull, which says the player to your left discards a card at random from their hand. And boxing gloves, we have a monkey fight, which is kind of interesting as well. And oh, the pixie, which makes you peek at one of the cards that are face down in play. It's very, very, very useful. And you saw quite a few of the other ones as well. Monkey is a very simple game in nature. You're simply going to be drawing the cards in the deck, drawing the action cards, see what they do, and it has a lot of random chance in it. You're going to be drawing cards, and they could be numbered 1 through 20. The best card is obviously a wild 20, because that's going to pretty much guarantee you success in any way, but traps can still stop those. And choosing to thwart your opponent by playing traps on them is a viable solution in some cases, especially if they're very high up in that challenge. The challenge is also something that's going to negate a lot of cards from them if they do not win, giving other players a chance to climb up. It's a family game. It's a kid game. It functions not really like gyrating hamsters, but as far as the audience goes, anybody who backed that game and enjoyed that game is going to enjoy this game as well because it features the same the style of, of a little bit of take that, a little bit of strategy, a little bit of luck, all mixed in with some really great artwork. The theme of the game is nice as well. You're gonna be climbing the tree, you feel like you've accomplished something every time you successfully climb, and then there's a little bit of working memory as well. It's nice with this game for kids because there's math involved in the game as to summing numbers as well as colors, and then of course the black ones being only able to be uh, accomplished by having other black cards and or wilds, and remembering where cards are placed. That little memory game is involved with this as well. So you're going to be trying to chop certain things down based on what you can remember in the past, as well as accomplishing that tree tongue, that tree challenge when you get to that point as well. So there's a lot of things that can go on throughout the game as the action cards change the game. In nature, it's very simplistic. And for those of you looking for a deeply strategic game with minimal luck, it's probably not going to be for you. For those of you interested in quick family experience, good for the kids, enjoyable artwork, and a nice little theme, Monkey is definitely a suggestion suggested game for me. I know I've played with a lot of my little cousins and they've really, really enjoyed this game. Just throwing the cards down and using the mathematical aspect to the game is something they really, really do enjoy. And it has a little bit of a learning experience as well, not only in a game form, but also in a gamification form as far as math goes as a concept. Really like that aspect of this game. Something I strongly suggest for those kids out there. Check it out, Monkey, down below on Kickstarter. If you'd like to go ahead and back it, you can go ahead and check it down below. Okay, let's go ahead and give an outro. All right, guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. If you like this video, go check out those sort of videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. It all does help. We do greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to check out the game Monkey. This game is definitely one of those games that uh, they know their audience and what they're going for. Gyrating Hamsters is another one that they've made that functions very differently and is not the same game whatsoever, but matches the audience, which is really cool. And the artwork, they did not spare any uh, any expense on making really, really nice artwork is even just the cards and how they're numbered. It looks really nice. I, I'm going to see, I'm, I'm, I would expect a lot of kids to really enjoy this game. Um, and the last thing is just like, 
you big thick gamers out there, okay, don't don't be surprised when you're drawing one sometimes. That's going to happen. As well as taking a look at our website, unfilteredgamer.com. Tons of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. We're giving away a ton of games all the time and our live streams on Facebook every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. PST. We have guests, we have sponsored streams. We give away at least two to three games every week just on that stream for watching, and we do greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to check out our friends, everythingboardgames.com and the Giveaway Geek. They also do a lot of stuff with us, and it is wonderful. You can win some games from them as well. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to climbing the tree and a Accomplishing the treetop challenge with you <laughs> next time. <laughs> <laughs>